Hello everyone and welcome back. I wanted to run through the theory behind my heat pump sizing. So this is the property. It's uh, built in 1992, two-storey red brick, exterior leaf, 100mm filled cavity and a block interior. We've also got about 300mm of loft insulation and on about 45 to 50% of the house we have insulated plasterboard on internal walls, internal exterior walls. And that's an ongoing program to try and get that done to sort of increase the thermal efficiency of the property. We presently use a 32 kilowatt oil boiler and we have a 5 kilowatt wood burning stove that heats only the main living room. We've also got six, about six square meters of solar water heaters on the roof, and they probably heat 70% of our water needs. And for those that are interested, we're at 54.6 degrees north and six degrees west. We're quite near the coast, and we're at an altitude of about 15 meters. The first thing I did was I measured every room. I measured every floor, every wall, window, and ceiling. I then attributed U-values to the various elements of the construction and calculated the heat losses to the outside world. I ignored heat losses to adjacent rooms or from you know ground floor to first floor simply because it's not a loss to the property, it's a, simply a loss from the room. So this first table deals with losses through this, the insulated screed floor and I worked out that I lose or I have a power loss of 86 watts per degree Kelvin or degree Celsius through the screed floors on the ground floor. I then looked at all the window losses and I worked out that we were losing 52.5 watts per Kelvin through the windows. I then looked at the ceilings on the first floor and calculated that we were losing 54 watts through the, all the ceilings. Some of those ceilings have insulated plasterboard as well, so they, they're much better, as you can see, and I've changed the figures there to represent that. And then this final table looks at all the exterior walls, minus the windows, because we've already calculated the window losses, and we've worked out that we, we lose 115 watts per Kelvin through the main exterior walls. Now if you add those all together the property loses 308 watts per Kelvin and if we want to maintain a 20 degree differential in other words 20 degrees inside and it's freezing outside or it's zero outside we would need 6162 watts to do that to so 6.1 kilowatts. I also then used some rules of thumb that I got from Michael De Podesta on YouTube and you can look him up here, there's his handle, it's at Michael De Podesta 001 and he, he goes through the, the theory of how he got these and he, do, he can do it much better than I can but basically if you know your energy usage, your oil or your gas usage per annum you can work out what size of heat pump you would need. Now based on his figures I would need about 7 kilowatts. As I'm further north than him, I would have to, have to add about 15% to, the, to the, the figures. So that brings me out at, at 7.9 kilowatts as a heat pump size. Now we know from the heat loss calculations that I showed you that I, I think on a, on a particularly cold day I will need 6 kilowatts. His figures are coming in at between 7 and 8. If I then use degree days from my local weather station, which is Belfast City Airport, I can basically repeat his calculations but with my degree day figures. And if I do that, I see that I would need about 6.8 kilowatts of power in a heat pump. To heat my property. So based on those figures all roughly agreeing 
I chose a valent Aerotherm 7 kilowatt unit, which can output up to about 9 kilowatts if needed. So that's the theory behind my calculations. So if you're interested, you let me know and you can have this spreadsheet and plumb in your figures. But unless someone can <laughs> tell me otherwise, I think it's a reasonably good and accurate calculation of what I think I will need. Um, and of course, I have the benefit of knowing that I do use uh, between 1500 and 2000 litres per annum of, of oil. So I do know what my energy needs are. OK, well, that's it for now. Sorry, it's a bit longer than usual, uh, but I hope you find it useful. Thanks. Bye.